lecture i am going to discuss what how to read all data from the text files inside talent data studio so first here i am going to show the files so this is the file text file is there so this is the two columns sorry two rows are there and this is the record inside the file so this file that i'm going to load inside the talent or retrieve data inside the talent so here this is now so we can achieve the output by using two ways first here go to the file delimited right click into it create file delimited now after that here you need to give the name of the file so writing t text file after doing this click on this next and there from there you can uh, browse the file so click on this browse and here by default it's a selected csv now going to select this option then you can get here txt20 open that and this is the record inside there here the format is unix or you can select the windows or you can select the max so that's the uh, windows selected now then after click on this next and here you can see this is the column column 0 column 1 2 3 4 5 6 and if you want then you can here use uh, csv and here delimited two option is there now you can here select uh, any of your favorite encoding method so it's all fine no need to change anything after that click on this next and uh, from here you can change the column name okay so here let's give for uh, emp number and if you want then you can here give the set all those things are there key columns or type you can change here you can do so many things now after that here click on this finish and the file is created t text file and from there here inside meta you can see this all columns okay emp number it's come into the last now from there i want to load to all uh, that so here drag this into the and then after here this is t input t file input click on this ok and uh, i want to display or see the records inside there so for this so let's uh, right click on into and here row main and uh, here let's use the t log rows to display file contents and uh, after doing this let's click on this save and no need to change anything click on this run now after uh, running here you can see this is the two rows that comes there and it's all displaying fine so it's uh, working fine so this is the first way we can here achieve uh, the output and uh, if you want then you can here use the second way so second way here click on this inside file input from there you can here select the input of file and if from there here uh, you need to go click there and after that uh, from there you need to select the files so browse the file so this file ttx20 that i'm going to browse and after or uh, doing this here or uh, the next is this i'm going to delete this is not required now after or uh, doing this or uh, this file that browse here this is for new line and here this is for comma separated and after or uh, doing this this file data that i'm going to load inside uh, oracle database tables so this is the uh, table table one and you can see there is the nothing inside there so the next is here i'm going to use there so let's uh, use uh, here t so this so uh, uh, here file delimited and this or uh, table that i'm going to use or table one so now you can i already show you there is nothing inside so this is for output so we need to select here t db output and after that 
here we need to stabilize the link so main and here click there yes now the next is uh, after doing this click on this save and no need to do anything here let's click on this clear run now uh, it's running connected disconnected now this is the message two rows that go inside there on the table one now let's uh, check the table data so here you can see two rows that come inside there to this all records so this is the way here we can get to uh, this text file data inside to uh, our talent and uh, uh, by the two ways so any method you can try and so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you